Y'all wanted to make this video. Hey, how y'all doing out there? I want to make this video just to clear up a couple of things. Uh, I've always told y'all I'm, I'm a proponent of this. I'm a proponent of a lot of things, but let's 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 put things in perspective. I've always told y'all there is no perfect subwoofer. There is no subwoofer that's going to excel in every uh, application. Uh, some subwoofers are because of how they're geared and how they're structured in pillars of application, whether you're going for SQ or going SPL, will perform better than others. There is no perfect subwoofer, right? Period. No matter what you hear me say uh, on my videos in the past, I, some of that's just hype. I mean, enjoying the subwoofer I'm getting, maybe because it's brand new and I'm using it. Uh, and I'm going to say hype, meaning that I'm liking it. You know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that it meets some of my expectations and exceeded some. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I've been getting messages from people say, hey, man, you know, you're running Kicker now. Are you saying that's the best brand, is it this, that, and other? What I'm saying about Kicker, and I want y'all to understand this, Kicker has been around since 1973, 47 years. They got experience. This Kicker Q-Class 8 is, 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 in a way, it's not even fair to compare it against other 8-inch subwoofers. Uh, for one, it's not really a true 8-inch. It doesn't have the true 8-inch cutout. Uh, the 8 inch cutout is what 73 eighths of an inch. Uh, this subwoofer you is square, so you're going to use with the same calculations that you use when you do a uh, a slot port. Uh, the count the calculate calculate area is going to be length time width, so seven and a quarter times seven and a quarter give you 52 square inches. I, I showed y'all in the video, so it, it's got 10 more inches more cone area than any other eight out there. So, of course, it's going to be louder, it has a certain performance level. Uh, and because it has that certain performance level, uh, as far as, you know, strength of the motor, uh, advanced cooling, uh, X max, which is really not big of a factor of using a port of the enclosure because your port's going to dictate how much the X max you use anyway. Uh, and I've, I think I've did a video on that. So when I say I'm loving this kicker and kickers back, this, that, another, and kickers here, I'm just trying to, I want you to quantify my statements. That does not say that if you run... Uh, X8, you're not going to be happy. If you run a CT Sounds Mizio, you're not going to be happy. Because remember, I've always tell you, especially when you contact me for an enclosure, I don't care what you're running. I, whatever you have decided about and what you want to run your application, that's what I do. I'm going to build you an enclosure for that. It doesn't have to be a particular brand. I'm not one of those builders. I don't care if you contact me and say you want me to build you a box for two high phonics 12s. That's what I'm going to do. If you ask me for my opinion, I'm going to say, look, and my opinion is not based on, if I haven't had the subwoofer, then my opinion is going to be based on my programs. And I can just tell you, hey, man, in this application, what you're trying to do with the power you have, this is what you can expect. Uh, and it might be perfect. It may not be. But if you still decide to go with it, hey, man, that's on you. This is The best subwoofer is the subwoofer that you can afford. If you're watching my channel and you like how I review different subs, I'm not saying one sub is better than another, but I will say in certain situations, in certain situations, depending on power, application, what you're putting in, yes, one sub will for will be another. Uh, particularly when I tell you about cone area. Uh, I hear best people, best, I'm gonna make a video on this as well when they say, man, uh, that's not necessarily the case. Yes, it is necessarily the case. It's always the fucking necessary. It's always the case. I had a one guy comment, and I'm sure y'all seen the comments. He said his six and a half beat some 12s. Uh, well, then they must not be the same performance level. Let me give you a perfect example. If you put a Sundown X8, which is higher than the SA series, against a Sundown E12, I'm pretty sure the X8 going to have more performance. Home performance. It's got better cooling, stronger motor, uh, bigger voice core. You're going to two inch voice core against a two and a half inch voice core. Yeah, it does have a smaller cone, but the other factors make up for that. Okay, that's true. If you put an X8 against a kicker, possibly a kicker CVR, I mean, you're going, you got 750 watts going against a sub whose voice core is a two inch, a 1.75, and they can only handle three, 400 watts. Of course, the X8 win. Now take that same X8 and let's come up a couple of series. Put that X8 against a Sundown SA10. SA10 will crush. The SA10 will crush that X8. 
So when I say Kone is king, meaning that if all other factors are equal, if you got the same performance level, if you got the same performance level or greater, the smaller cone area subwoofer will not beat the larger cone area subwoofer in output. And that's just facts. And that's why I'm telling you about this with this, this kicker, uh, this kicker L7. It it does not really have a it's not really 42 squares of cone area. It's 52 squares of cone area. So it's gonna be significantly louder on the same power. One for one. You add a X8 and you add a kicker. I got 10 minutes. I got 10 inches cone air advantage. I got the same motor strength. Yes, I don't have the same X Max, but I move with more air per stroke. I got the same performance level, same power handling, and you add another, I'm add another. And each time you add one, I'm keep gaining in cone area. So one against one, I got 10 square inches more than you. Two against two, I got 20 square inches of cone area against you. Three against three, I got 30 square inches of cone area against you. You can't win unless you underpowering one of them. If you underpowering the kickers, yes, this will be louder. But if, if in a perfect world, enclosure volume is right, perfect enclosure. In fact, the same enclosure, everything is the same. You just take the subs out and put different ones in. The larger cone area subwoofer will win. This is facts. This is physics. This is basic leg twisting, man. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. Cone area is king. I don't care who makes the six and a half. You get the DD six and a half, 506. The uh, Sundown XX six and a half. These Sovereign Audio six and a half. Uh, give me 8-inch subwoofer with the same performance level. Give me X8, I'll crush all of them. Period. Uh, and so I want to qualify my statements. I'm not, well, you, you run, I'm running kicker now for me. For me, I'm running kicker. Somebody else might not want to, but they want to run this. Hey, so be it, man. I will build you an enclosure for that. Or I'll help you design and work on your system for you. But let's look at the numbers. Because one thing I like to look at, so we don't have to argue opinions. I only I only talk about stuff that I have personally bought and owned. I was talking to a guy about, uh, he was like me, like the kicker, and he was looking to getting in. And then all of a sudden he said, man, what about a JL? I said, I love JL. JL W7. Yeah, he, SQ and SPL. I said, oh, okay. I said, and that's what he decided to go with. I ain't trying to talk him out of it. I'm going to build him in closer for his three JL7. I think he's going to be happy. It's going to have the output he's looking for. Not everybody's looking at this. No, whenever you try to chase and say, man, I'm going to be the loudest. <laughs> it's always going to be somebody louder than you. Always. Alan Dante. Loudest man in the world with a cardio product. 185 dB. And nobody knows what he got in there. Now, we do know it's BT Audio. It ain't the big boy. The job keep thinking about everything. Uh, let me, give you, let me show you what I look at. It's, it's, a, it's, a product, it's an app that you can download on the iPhone and on Google. So you got another phone. But let's look at, let's look at the numbers here. Uh, let's go to volume. I'll delete these. So I'm going to select driver first. Sundown X8V2. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Sundown X8V2. This is the program. Speaker box. I'm gonna choose it. I'm going to. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go multi. I'm gonna say we have four. I'm just gonna use my system as the as the as the uh, four done. So it, it, the program puts all the parameters in. See, the program doesn't care about the brand. The program puts all the parameters in, right? It dictates all the parameters, right? And once you put that in. And I'm going to say the power supply is my system. It does 1,900. So I'm going to round it up to 2,000. 2,000. I'm going to say 4 on 2,000. And it's not tagging in. This not calculating like my two programs with the house, the, the, the resonance of the vehicle, this, that, another. It's just saying at this point right here, just the enclosure in a perfect environment. Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to put in the. I'm saying, and you see the volume right there? Do y'all see the volume where it says 2.5? I don't know if I can say, okay, 2.5. Okay, at 32 hertz, I'm gonna tell them to graph it. I'm telling the program, the program doesn't care nothing about the name. I'm gonna say graph that, let me see that. So this is an enclosure vent, two and a half cubic feet. Two and 32 hertz, it's gonna fall off at 28. It's gonna start losing output at 20 hertz. 28 with the sundown, X8, four of them on 2000 watts. I'm gonna say draw that for me and let me see the graph. 
And this is the graph. Do y'all see that? I'm gonna make sure that shows up very well. So y'all can pause this later. Do y'all see that graph? Okay, I think you see right there at 30 hertz, I get a slight bump, right? Is that 30, yeah. Yeah, right at 30 hertz, I get a slight bump. And then you see it goes down. And those are DBs. Look at, look, pause this and you can look at it. This is a speaker box program. I ask you to download it. I download it and subscribe to it. So I get a lot of features to it. And this is one of the programs I use on my phone when I'm out and at work and people ask me about certain things. I always look here if I don't have no firsthand experience for it. And then I go home and get my Basebox Pro 6 and check that with WinNC. So I have, if two programs agree, then I build that box. So here we, here we are right here. That's the Sundown X8. Four of them with a, an enclosure tune to 32 hertz. This is not calculate, calculating cabin resonance, vehicle. It's just saying if the world's perfect, 2,000 watts, 32 hertz in, enclosure, tune enclosure, you're going to get a bump at 30 hertz with that much power applied. And it's telling me what it's going to do with every other frequency. The frequencies are here at the bottom. The dB is on this side right here. Now, watch this. Phone upside down. Now, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go back to the driver. I'm gonna select the kicker L782. Alright, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to see a button down there that says choose. I'm gonna hit choose. It's gonna put all the parameters in the same. I gotta put in here 2000 watts. 2000 watts. Okay, done. Then I gotta put in here multi and I'm going to tell it four come on my finger must be dirty four of them four of them at 2000 watts and I'm going to tell it to do the exact same thing I'm going to hit tell it I'm going to hit this draw button and I'm going to tell it to graph it and tell me in a perfect world not calculating cabinet resonance but if I put four of them and the net volume is 2.5 cubic feet and I'm applying 2000 watts power what is my DB at every frequency when it's going to fall off so here, like I say, every wolf is different. The with these, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna start losing output at 31 hertz. At 31 hertz, it's gonna start to roll off. The sundown's rolling off at 28. Okay. This is where the eight inch drive. Alright, boom, 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 boom. Now I'm gonna graph it. I've done this. I've already done this. I see what that what y'all finna see next. <laughs> Is going to amaze you, particularly when you see exactly what happens. Now I'm gonna say, show me that. All right. <laughs> At 2,000 watts in a two and a half cubic foot box, you see how much louder I am with the kickers, particularly at 40 and 50. Yes, the X6s have the advantage at 30, but then I I, I come back. My roll off is not, my roll off is, is, I actually play deeper, and I might not play as loud as the X8s, but I play deeper farther into the 30s than the sundown does. Look at the, look at the, look at the graph. Look at the graph. The graph, the sundown falls off steep real quick, whereas the kickers go down farther. Yeah, and, I'm, and, and the kicker beats, the only way the X8 beats me is in the lows at 30 hertz. In a perfect world. Everywhere else, the kicker wins. Do y'all see that draft? Do you see the graph? Everywhere else, the kicker wins. Even playing deeper into the 30s. The green line. See, the green line extends further out before it starts to roll off. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see that? Yes. Yeah, the kicker. The sundowns killing the... They, the sundown killing the lows, but the kick is more of a multi-purpose driver. The, the the sundown will kill the lows lower than at thirty than my kickers, but my kick is right there. And the difference between the two, it even tells me that the difference between the two details at at thirty-two hertz, the difference is one point six decibels. I can't show y'all this because it is it, so it's one point five decibels louder at 
31, 32, 33, and 34. The sundowns. But right at 36 hertz, the kicker starts to take back over. Uh, the kicker is louder at 29 hertz. The kicker is louder at 29 hertz, 28 hertz, 27 hertz, 26 hertz. I lose for 3 hertz and then come back. As you look at this line, the kicker plays more flat. Now, if I want to, well, if that's the case, I should get sundown. But let me show you how you trick the enclosures. Let me show you how to treat. I'm going to delete those two. Let's go back. I'm going to delete those two videos, right? I'm going to say rewind to this sundown. No. Delete the video. Yes. Boom. Go back. And I'm going to say bring me back the sundown. Choose it. Uh, take the power back to 2,000 watts. Do, 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 do. The sundown is very picky. This is what I know from experience, done. I want to do multi, which is four. My finger's dirty, y'all, done. I go to volume. This time, I'm going to put it in a three cube box. All right, I want you to draw that out for me. I want you to show it to me. Now, once again, the peak, you still still peaky. Peak said 30 hertz, all right, from like, Third, 29 to 34. Now I'm going to do the same thing again. Go back to the driver. I'm going to put in the kicker. Choose. Uh, 2,000 watts. Done. Multi. Four, come on. Boom. Four, done. Volume. Three hertz. So now this time, <laughs> this time when I put three, this time when I put three hertz, the kicker matches the sundown. Do you see that? Oh, I didn't do the grab, my bad. The kicker matches the sundown where it's going to fall off at. Now I'm going to tell it to draw. The green line is going to be the kicker. <laughs> Once again, now the larger the box get, the kicker starts to catch up. Do y'all see the difference now? Can you see that? Yeah. Once again, yeah, still. The kick, the sundown kills the lows. For three hertz, the sundown has the advantage. For three hertz, for three frequency ranges. Look like it's 32, 33, 34 again. But after that, everything else, the kicker has the advantage. So if you want to buy a subwoofer that excels in those three hertz, then the sundown is the one you want to go with. But if you want a more musical subwoofer that's not as picky, that's going to play flat over a broader range, as you can see, the green line is the kicker. And the kicker's going to win. It's a lot more musical. And in fact, that gap that you see here, the green line and the red line, oh, that's what y'all be listening to. Because most music is 38 hertz and higher. Most music is 38 hertz and higher. 35 hertz and higher. The kicker wins. In a perfect world. Now, if you go adding in the vehicle resonance and all that, things start to change. But the difference between the two, like I showed the difference between the two, if I show you the difference here in this enclosure here, now, because I put the kick in a larger box and put the sun down a larger box, the difference is only 0.6 of a dB. I'm going to tell you something. I want y'all to hear this in closing. The only way you can hear a difference in output, if you had two cars side by side, the majority of people in the world can only hear a 3 dB increase. If a sub, if a car has got, if this sub is metering, and I'm not even concerned about meter, but if this sub is metering 34, 134, and this one meeting 135, to you standing outside, they're gonna sound exactly the same. If one's metering 135 and one's meeting 137, to you standing outside the vehicle, they're gonna sound exactly the same. So that little difference that sundown happen. I'm not bashing sundown. I'm just saying that little difference that they excels in, peakiness that it excels in, is only good if you're metering. In daily application, you will not hear the difference. What you will hear is the difference between I'm going to go to the green line. Like where, where we at? Uh, 40 hertz, 41 hertz, where people really meter it. The difference is 3 dB. 
3 dB in the at 60 hertz, 3 dB. Oh, it's 60 hertz, 5 dB. It's 70 hertz. Shit, 6 dB. At 40 hertz. At particularly, uh, I'm going with three. If particularly at 42 hertz, at 42 hertz, there's a 3 dB difference. You will hear that the kicker over the sundown. Where the sundown excels at, the difference is only 0.6. You won't hear that. These are facts. Not bashing. I'm just going to tell you, there's no perfect subwoofer. Know what you're going to get. Know what you're getting. Don't go for the hype. Deal with facts. Put this stuff in the program. The program, that's why most of us builders tell you, most replica builders will tell you, hey man, it ain't got nothing to do with the subwoofer. It's all in the boss and the clothes provide. They really do. It's particularly when you're dealing with the small subwoofers. Because they it ain't gonna be any difference, for real. Facts. NB enclosures, baby. Get it, baby. You need an enclosure. Uh, the number is 404 694 4818. I'll put it in the description of this video. Later.